Greetings from El Toro. It's the holiday season and I've got the perfect gift for you, El Toro apparel. Visit my website to purchase exclusive apparel and clothing. Not sure what to get your loved one? Well, don't forget that we have gift cards. With any gift card purchase of $50 or more, you'll receive a free five minute phone session with me. Happy holidays and thank you. Head on over to the website. Bye. Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your bonus reading for November, going into December. Today is November 15th, so this will be for the 15th, I guess, going into December. A bonus read, maybe the energy surrounding you, the energies you're coming out of. Let's see what this is all about. I know that Aquarius is, is coming out of going through to get to the other side lots of energy shifts breakdowns just so it can be built back up in what would be defined as the correct manner that's going to be you know different for each individual okay let's do The Celtic cross spread. I feel like things are really shifting, really changing for Aquarius. Aquarius ha has really been through a lot. Aquarius has been praying, meditating, manifesting what it is they really want for their future. All right. Bottom of the deck. Wow, that's right. Putting in the work in. The Eight of Earth. Put in the work, dedication. And on self, some of you have gone back to school or gotten some type of continuing education, some vocational training, whatever it may be. Or some of you could have just done the work, whatever the work is. Or you're doing the work on self. Some of you are going to therapists, uh, counselors, getting help. Getting help. But it's for self. So that you can become the nine of pentacles, the nine of earth. Proficient in all ways. Self-sufficient. Not just monetarily like, you know, I go to work, I pay all my bills by myself. But proficient in, in relationship with self first and then others. Really digging deep and defining yourself and then looking out into partnership or being r better equipped emotionally spiritually mentally maybe even financially for partnership so this is good this is the bottom of the deck in the past Aquarius had the seven of air don't feel like this is like lies cheating deception some of you could have been being deceived or deceiving yourself in a situation believing that one particular situation was going to turn out better than it was some of you this could have been you running away from moving away from a particular union relationship partnership whatever with maybe another air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius this is you planning secret plans. 
of forward movement. It's deceptive in the in the right that if your partner you're not letting your partner in on what you're planning. If you're single, this might be self deception. All right. In the in the past, plans needed to be revised here. There need to be some rewriting the plan. And also, this was you writing things out, writing the vision, making it plain, write the plan, whatever it may be. All right. So the reason why all of this energy is moving about. Wow. Nice, 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 Aquarius. The Wheel of Fortune. So like I said, I feel like some things had to be shifted broken down broken into pieces cast away uh completely transformed because the wheel is turning now when people say the wheel's turning in your favor okay great it's also an ending so sometimes this good fortune has to come in with you leaving something behind with you walking away from with you doing away with with you putting away with you fill in the blank the will can't turn unless there's change unless you're doing a complete 360 and then why did you even change anyhow right it's going to go back to square one this is the will of fortune the will of change all right um so two cards fell out for what's crossing you all right, so this is what you're dealing with. Wow, the six of fire. Putting yourself first. Self-promotion. Uh, propelling yourself forward. Getting the recognition, the admiration, the accolades that you deserve for a job well done or a victory in a situation. Some of you are putting a lot of time, energy, effort into yourself. Um, how you look, how you carry yourself, and you're getting attention. What crosses the six of fire is, wow, the nine of air, the eight of water. Some fire sign may be giving you this attention to Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Some of you may already be Somebody's making you want to do this. Want to put yourself first. Somebody is... I don't want to say blowing smoke up your... You know what. But they are talking real nice to you. And it is... Putting you in a position where you're the nine of air. You're having sleepless and restless nights about... Possibly walking away from moving away from one position abandoning one position going to another because this is happening elsewhere the six of fire the six of wands you could be getting all of this attention from a fire sign it now makes you it brings heavy anxiety because you're already in Involved in a relationship or situation, a job, I don't know, whatever. Maybe with a water sign and you are contemplating walking away. Or you have emotionally checked out. This is you right where you are. The hermit. Yeah. I think you have withdrawn. Some fire signs give me a lot of attention. It felt good, but it also brought you a lot of anxiety. It could be a fire, water sign, air sign, but I really feel like it's fire, water. This is you. You like the attention, but that might even be, that might have even been gifts associated with this attention, trips, whatever. But you have to emotionally withdraw from this situation because either you or someone else um, 
Oh, yeah. Either you or someone else's partner. Someone had to abandon. Someone is abandoning. Someone needs to make a decision to abandon. But whatever happens there, you walked away because somebody else already is already on one path. So you walked away and now you're in the hermit mode. You guys are not in communication. You cannot be in communication with a Virgo. You could just be trying to learn more about what it is, what life is, what this connection is, what what this means for self. A lot of attention on self now. Moving forward, the the um, Tang Timmons already. Wow. Okay, progression here. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah. The near future, eight of air, feeling stuck, feeling like you cannot move forward, feeling, having thoughts of circling thoughts. This is the hamster wheel. Maybe thoughts of another air sign or some of you is stuck on somebody stuck on some situation you're trying to remove yourself from the hamster wheel with these two eights your heart your mind three eights wow eight, eight, eight yeah really trying to do something different get off of that wheel and have change it's very hard for some of you the the connection is strong but the connection is also I think it's kind of based in maybe somebody was deceiving themselves they have to come to truth with them with the situation your power wow okay the ten of air your power is really just allowing the ending to happen if it's ending it's ending it's it's happening feel the hurt feel the burn feel the pain but knowing that this is the end and you don't have to be here anymore. Some of you, this is complete devastation, disappointment. This is, for some of you, it's the, the, the worst is over. I see. In your environment is the high priestess. There's an inner knowing of something or, some, or, or about someone. There's some secrets. And some lies to you may have been a, a secret in a in someone's life in, in some capacity and you play a secret position here but it looks like you're trying you definitely either have walked away or you trying hopes and fears the ace of earth definitely a hope to either have a large sum of money, start business, solidify a relationship by way of engagement, moving in together. Um, just a solid new start, foundational start that you can build upon. So that is um, definitely a hope. The outcome. Here we go. Nine of Earth. Yeah, we did it. Yay! So we went from the eight of earth to the seven to the eight of air to the nine of air to the ten of air. It was just like you knew you had to let something go. It is all this reading is completely about putting yourself first so that you can have real partnership with someone. So you can be the ten of earth with someone. And that's your hope is to solidify, have that one that one extra pinnacle come into your life. But you know that that could only happen if you walked away from a situation that did not serve you. A situation where someone was dividing themselves um, between you and another position. And, you know, where you had to walk away 
from someone who already had something established emotionally who wasn't walking away or couldn't walk away or was taking too long to walk away so you walked away and then the wheel started turning for you you ended that situation and now look where you are the outcome this is also um, being restless in your current position at your job because you have a business opportunity you want to em embark on um let's get some butterfly oracle cards in here to close out the reading and then we're going to clarify our um celtic cross spread and our butterfly oracle cards over at the website always keep in mind to get the extended reading is one dollar fifty cent it's not a whole bunch of money to get a potential outcome especially if the energy is resonating with you um if you aren't at liberty to purchase a full personal reading for yourself the extended out the extended reading for one dollar fifty cent is a definite um is a, a pretty good uh method to get a potential outcome for your situation okay so the link is below just click that link pay the 150 and listen away it's it things are really turning around for aquarius i'm so 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 happy all right and we're gonna do one more thank you thank you thank you heavenly father spiritual growth a lot of spiritual growth um, inner growth, emotional, mental, spiritual, getting to the root of issues and not just dealing with, you know, the stem and problem. Join in. It's, it's, it talks about joining, like I said, therapy, uh, a group of people who may share the same interests. This is actually physically joining a group. This is not online. This is not virtual. This is actually having that old-fashioned connection to people so join a group um wow finances nice and it's looking good for you nine of earth ace of earth will of fortune moving some of you are trying to move there is a move here and some of you did the proverbial you know move away from a situation move away from a particular person move away from a job um move away from negative thoughts uh emotional baggage so moving and and then it's also physical moving to keep the faith and it looks like you are aquarius you're just trying to stay in the best spirits as possible because you know you've done the work the eight of earth on self to propel yourself forward with that six of fire wow new exercise program nice wheel of fortune talks about the the treadmill talks about uh, bicycling new exercise program i know i started one so this is nice some of you may be joining a gym also a group of people um this is nice let's go over and clarify these cards away and see what is really really to come especially this little fortune this nine of earth aquarius i hope that this reading resonated with you for you i hope that you gained clarity about the the progression forward that you have very 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 good things to look forward to um aquarius the link is below click the extended read know that i am praying nothing but the highest prayers to the one true living god I ask that you pray for me also. Take care, guys. Happy holidays. Talk to you soon.